we interrupt your programming. This is a big D country emergency. Important detail for follow. Deed. 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 We interrupt your programming. This is a big D country emergency. Its instructions are as followed. This is a meltdown. This is a meltdown emergency. I repeat, this is a meltdown emergency. Even though things will calm down the next few days, the meltdown emergency will happen regardless. All, pers all persons who are citizens of Big D country take shelters in their mansion. All those who are residents in the palace of Second Palace of Big D country go to the underground bunker of the Second Palace right now. A meltdown is, is imminent and is about to happen at any time during today, which is December 13. Repeat. Meltdown warning. Meltdown warning. Meltdown warning. Deed. 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 Please tune to Big D Country News for official instructions and, and more information on official meltdown. Yeah, I kind of messed that up because I had a panic attack the other day when I was taking a shower. Uh, felt dizzy, and I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't felt. I, I shouldn't even have to felt dizzy because I had a good meal. And yeah, I mean, I know what's going to happen. Uh, going to happen, but I was hoping that it would get over with so that you know I could let, let I could scream and let it all out. But I'm scared of the fact that they're going to make me wait all night. You know, because they have to have the romantic birthday dinner. I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Travis King and uh, Taylor Swift, today is Taylor Swift's birthday. But yesterday was the most important birthday of all, which was Bob Barker's birthday. And he would have been, uh, uh, they said it would have been 100 um, had he still been uh, alive today. Oh, and I even had a panic. I, you know, once I hear the story, it's going to send me back to August 28th when Dr. Renee told me those words that my, uh, they done everything that I, uh, that they could and my late wife died and the chaplain was there and I went bonkers. As soon as I see that, because I, I look up, that, now remind you, I did see the mansion. I did see the, the new mansion in, uh, Kansas City that, uh, Travis brought. Okay. I heard the song. I heard the song that Taylor Swift did at the uh at the, the the concert at the time that uh um Travis K was at the concert. So there was way too much evidence that this is going to go down. Okay. I'm having way awful luck when I, when it comes to uh music crushes that I that I used to have. Okay, so I had a bad uh bad uh bad luck with Madonna, then Janet Jackson, then um yeah, yeah. Madonna, then Janet Jackson, then Beyonce, and now Taylor Swift. And, you know, I mean, I even woke up, I said, I need my late wife. I mean, I don't want to go into the flashback on the 28th as soon as I see that ring. I know that there's a big ring. It probably had a bigger carrot, too. Yeah, I know that. I know that for a fact. Oh my God! I I I didn't even want to get up today, but I said, you know, I said, let me go ahead and do the week fourteen aftermath before I go haywire. I've already did, and I've already released it the week fifteen uh, prediction. So you want to check that out as well. Oh my God! But uh, I did put some more time with that. Uh, and I can't believe that there was, there was a reason why I have double down. And I will tell you that once we get to that particular part of the game. And it was involving a double down, double down game. Okay. And now... They're keeping records of how many the Chiefs are keeping record or or media is keeping records of how many games that they won when Taylor Swift is watching Travis Kelsey play. They're about four wins and two losses every time she's there. What the heck is going on? 
This is ruining my enjoyment of the cheese, which is my official thing. I lived in Missouri when I was married, and I even stayed in Missouri until I get kicked out by lazy um, maintenance person and a landlord that didn't even, didn't even care if I was alive or dead. I was in St. Louis. I was in St. Louis for three years. I was in I was in Missouri for even more than that. I mean, come on. I haven't been in Missouri through the pandemic. I, what? This is ruining. I mean, they're keeping records of how many times that they win while Taylor Swift is there. And then the announcer, even at the game, there was this week game that announced it that made a long shot and said that uh, uh, Travis K's wife was at the, the stand. And then it's like, oh, Oh, not one of the commentators said, "Not yet, uh, girlfriend." And I was, I was like, I can't even enjoy a game. I can't even enjoy watching a clip of a game. You don't do that to a man who is suffering from severe depression, PTSD, anxiety attack. You don't do that. You don't do that. All I want to do is enjoy a football game with one of my team. You know, with one of my teams, I got a lot of teams now because you know, you already know that the teams are the uh, the teams, uh, the Ra the the Vegas Raiders, uh, Tech, uh, Houston Texans, and Dallas Cowboys. I didn't. What the hell was going on? All this build up, and they haven't even they haven't even gotten engaged yet. All this build up, I got. You mean to tell me I got to wait all day and, and and going crazy all day? I'm glad I did the week. I'm glad I did the week fifteen early. I'm glad I did that. I was trying to I was trying to joke around doing the EAS on my own big D country. I mean, may even screwed that joke up. But either way. This is a meltdown alert. Meltdown alert. Even though I said that uh, Taylor Swift and Travis, Travis K could uh, have each other because no everything is going down. I can't do anything about it. And there's even more. I mean, I still, I still got to go through Christmas. Uh, and they're trying to send me to a, a adult, uh, the adult day program. The problem is the only time that I'm scared of is when they play Christmas music. <laughs> And I don't want to. I don't want to flood the place. I hope they would have flood insurance. I hope to God that they would have flood insurance. Oh my God! I mean, <laughs> see, I was originally going to wait to start to go to day programs in January, like after the holidays. Yeah, that was my plan. That was my plan all along to wait till after the holidays to go to the day program. Yeah. Oh my God! But this, I, I, I okay, okay, and, and I'm in a, a different second palace. I had to uh, move the other uh, the other day from uh, one second palace to another second palace, and no advance notice at all. And then today, because of like on that same week, uh, I mean this is ridiculous. Let me get to the NFL pickup before I go crazy, and then I'll talk about. This was one of the reasons why the double down was initiated. So let's go ahead and go to week four, uh, 14 before. Uh, oh, my God. Come on. Why you have to start all over again? I was trying to do the I was trying to do my monologue. Come on. I was just trying to do a monologue. Uh, OK. All right. Now, just the warning. Next week, or the next, or the um, I think it was another another week. No, I think it was for week fifteen. I think, yeah, I think that's the week that I did. Let me just uh, okay, week fifteen. Uh, shoot, come on, come on. Yeah, week fifteen, the one week that I just did. The Patriots will play the cheese. Okay, but they're going to be away. So, okay. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. But anyway, uh, let's get with week 14, the aftermath, before I go haywire. 
So I was like, let me do this now. Let me do the work that I'm called to do now. And then, then when I get a meltdown, I already have my, um, my plans in because I obviously, I did, I just wanted to skip today and then go straight to tomorrow. I just wanted to skip today because then I, I got to go through Christmas. I got to go to Christmas, which was my late wife's favorite holiday. This day is getting me thinking about my the, the 28th now. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Relax. Relax. We got a podcast to do. Okay. Oh, Patriots versus the Steelers, and I already lost the game. Because the stupid Pats, uh, the stupid Pat beat the Steelers because that was my ride or die. Uh, the final score was twenty-one to eighteen. That was my ride or die. I do not pick the Pat. Travis K needs to go to the Patriots now. I repeat, since they're my nemesis, since I don't, uh, I don't cheer for the Patriots. Travis K need to go to the Patriots now. Right now, they're my, my arch nemesis. Okay. Now, oh boy. I'm glad I put this at the double down because Texans, one of my teams, did not have a good day against the Jets. Matter of fact, we're with the Texans. The Texans wasn't even in the game. Where was the Texans? You want to know what the score was? Do you really want to know what the score was? 30 to 6. 30 to 6. Texans was not in the damn building. 30 to 6. Okay. So that's two loss for week 14. Okay, now here's the win, and this is on a ride or die. Since I don't like the Traders, the Rams, a lot of heels on the first uh, first three games. Wow, a lot of heels on these uh, on this set. But anyway, uh, the Traders, the Rams, who left St. Louis for L.A. and but it's a low low score game. But the 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 Ravens, thank you Ravens, thank you Baltimore Ravens, thank you. Because you beat the uh, the traders by seven points, seven six points. But anyway, it was uh, thirty seven thirty one. All right. Ah, thank you, Saints. Thank you, Saints. Because of what the pa- uh, the Panthers did to the uh, to the um, to the Houston Texans, and it took a field goal in the fourth quarter that they had to do again thanks to a ref call, which is the reason why I have double downs in the first place. Because of uh, referee calls and close games, that's why I have double downs. That's the reason why I have double downs. And I'll tell you another reason why when it when it comes to the the Chief Bill game. But anyway, twenty eight to six, Saints final score. Uh, Colts versus Bengals. Bengals won by the score of thirty four to fourteen. So that's two win. Uh, no, that's three wins. Thank God, three wins. Uh, two double down wins and one uh, ride or die. Oh, three loss. On a double down. So that's. Oh. Well. One, two. One, two, three. Three, three. Oh, it's tied three and three. Wow. So it's three wins, three losses. Uh, the Buccaneers and the Falcons. I wanted the Falcons to win. But the Buccaneers won 29-25. All right. So it's three, three. But it's about to be three, four. Uh, three losses and four wins because the Browns beat the Jaguars by the score of 31 to 27, and that was a double down. Okay, five wins. No, five wins. Yeah, five wins. Okay, that's right, because I only got three three losses and uh, four wins, but there's, now it's five wins because, well, the Bears beat the Lions by the score of 28 28- 13th. And you know what I got to say? Thank you, Bears. Thank you. 
All right, moving on. Uh, the 49ers. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the uh, sixth one, by the way. Here comes the seventh one, by the way, of the 49ers. But the score twenty eight sixteen over the Seattle Seahawks. That was a double down. That was another double down. Whoa. Okay. Well, it's not by much. But then, the question I gotta ask is, where the hell was the Raiders? Where was the Raiders? You mean to tell me you got four quarters in the game? This is almost like a pitcher's doing baseball, where the, the offensive team wasn't able to score at all. Because you want to know what the final score was? Out of all four games. I mean, no, not four games. Out of all four quarters. And this is laughable. The final score, the Vikings faded is... Three to nothing. Three to nothing. Unbelievable. So the Red Raiders wasn't even in the building. They, they, they probably was in the casino gambling or something like that. I don't know. Or taking some of the sites in Las Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Broncos. Thank you. That was another ride or die. Okay, so that's eight. Uh, no, that's eight wins. And here comes my ninth win. Even though it was a double. Da- See, I'm kind of glad I had the Vikings and Raiders in the double down. Because I knew something was going to go down. I knew I had to feel it. And I was correct to make that game into a double down. Oh, my God. Okay. So, so that's the seventh win. Okay. Here comes the eighth win. Broncos, 24-7. to seven, And thankfully, the Chargers didn't even show up. Uh, to play because they only have seven points. Now, before I get to the rest of these games, another major reason why I have a double down and another major reason why I had the Bills and the Chiefs double down. One, the Chiefs is the uh, Chief Justice's favorite team. That's number one. And the Chiefs are my favorite team. Well, some of my um, uh, Chiefs are, I think, like the Chiefs, too. But anyway, two, the Chiefs nearly won the game on a touchdown. That would have been a touchdown if the ref hadn't called the touchdown back. The ref called the touchdown back. Meaning the, the, the Bills won the game by the score of 27. These four quarter losses are driving me crazy. First with the Houston Texans, now with the Chiefs, even on a double down, on a thing like that, referee interference and, 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 and fights and things. This is the reason why I have double down. For as long as I do the NFL pickup over my life, I will continue to do double downs and ride or dies. I will not change the format on the program whatsoever. Oh my God. I can't believe this. It was a touchdown that was called back by the ref and the, the team would have won it. It would it would have still been a big D country win because it was a double down. But wow, all because of a ref ruined the ruined the game. And on a fourth quarter again, this is the second time this season that a fourth quarter ruined the game that could have been a touchdown uh, for for a particular team and everything like that. I don't believe it, but still, thank God it was a double down. Oh my God! Okay, Eagles, T- uh, Eagles, Cowboys. And yeah, Taylor Swift was at the Chiefs game again. And then, of course, at the end of the report, they said that Travis K and Taylor Swift were walking hand in hand from the game. And we and I saw the pictures. And yeah. Now, Eagles, Cowboys. All right, another double down, another home team. Okay. Cowboys won the game by the score of 33-13. All right. Packers, Giants. 
Okay. Oh, that that was the ninth win and tenth win thanks to the the New York Giants by the score of twenty four to twenty twenty two against Green Bay. So that's uh ninth tenth win, eleven win. So only eleven to three. Still good. Still good on the week because the Titans uh beat the Dolphins by the score. Of, oh, only one point. Only one point. It was a one-point game. One point. 28 to 27. Okay. Oh, my God. That is your NFL pickup for week 14th aftermath. No wonder why he was going crazy. 4-2 when Taylor Swift was at Travis K- uh, K-Thai. And they had to have, have to have all can in hand. Oh, and then she got a Golden, Golden Globe nomination. Well, for your information, I hope Super Mario Brothers movie win against your movie, Tell Us With, any day of the week. I'm going for Super Mario Brothers 3 movie because they got a nomination. Uh, Yeah, the Super Mario Brothers got a nomination at the Gold Gold. I'm rooting for Super Mario Brothers 3, and that's what I got to say about that. <laughs>